They're always dirty. Always dirty. Here, come a little closer. Come a little closer. We're friends, right? You can come closer. Morning, everybody. Uh, I'm in Pembina, North Dakota. I got stuck here last night because my uh, paperwork for my customs clearance to cross the border wasn't cleared yet. And like I say, you never show up when they're not expecting you. They don't like that. Neither side. They don't like that at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this trailer to our yard and get my equipment off of it. It's being delivered uh, after the weekend. I'm headed home. I've got a whole bunch of stuff going on this week. So number one, old blue's getting polished. I gotta bring it to my polisher this afternoon. It's still dirty. Gotta bring it to my polisher later this afternoon. And then uh, later on this week, the truck is getting safety. Every year, if you're not familiar with trucking, every year we have to get a safety done on the truck. That means they go over everything to make sure everything is as it should be, like in depth. And it has to pass the safety, otherwise the truck can't go back on the road. It has to pass every year. So it's a big one. Let me get that done. I'm also moving. Not moving our house. We didn't sell our house or anything. I'm moving into a different shop. Uh, I've gotten a bigger shop with a floor drain. So I'm excited about that. Uh, it's it's bigger, uh, wider, and longer. It has plumbing all roughed in so I can have like a, a, a sink, a toilet, a shower. I can put in a hot water tank if I want. I bet I could even like uh, plumb in laundry if I wanted to like wash the dog bedding and truck laundry at the shop. I got that, so it's bigger, better floor drain which the other one didn't have so in winter time all the snow that melts off my truck has somewhere to go it's gonna be great we're moving into that new shop this week sometime so i'm picking up the keys today and then i have the rest of this week i guess the rest of this month to uh get my stuff over i'm gonna try to get it done as quickly as possible and we have to clean out the old shop make it nice and purdy and then uh set up the new shop i won't get it all like set up and like i won't get all settled in this week because that takes a while but well, at least get everything moved over. So that's, that's the plans for this week. Plus, Theo has his two-month doctor's appointment. There's that. And Diesel has his uh, uh, big appointment he's got to be put under, get his teeth cleaned and teeth pulled. And I bought my wife a package uh, for spa day. Spa day, an hour massage, and I bought her uh, two so she could take someone. And she chose to take me. Yes! So I get to go with her too. So we're going to the spa this week as well. It's a it's a big week. That's her Mother's Day gift. So, anyways, I can't seem to get my glasses clean. Let me focus on this, and then uh, let's get on the road. Let's get home. I do this to straighten out the straps so that they're not all twisted. So I'm putting this load here in the yard. Someone else is going to hook onto it on Tuesday. It's a long weekend. It's Victoria Day weekend here in Canada when I'm filming this. It's uh, everybody's got Monday off. So it's going to be delivered Tuesday, but this truck is going to be in the shop getting polished then. Or maybe it'll be done by then and we can be staring at it. That'd be great, but. For now I'm just rolling up my equipment. Whoever's gonna deliver it's gonna use their equipment. And then we'll head back. I wanna show you my new shop. I'm very excited.
And here we are. New shop. As you can see, there is a lot more room behind the truck. More room beside the truck. Well, the floors are dirty. I do have to clean those yet. They're letting me uh, move in a couple of weeks early as a big favor, but I do have to clean it myself. And then look at all the room at the front of the truck yet. It is 10 feet deeper and I think a foot or two wider. And the walls and ceiling have been mudded, but they would need to be sanded and painted. I'm allowed to paint them if I want to. I won't be doing that right away, but uh, there we go. This is Old Blue's new home. So now comes the fun part of moving everything over from the other shop to this shop. <laughs> it should just take a day, I think. I'm gonna use my dad's utility trailer and we'll get her done quick. And at least it's mudded. The other one wasn't mudded, remember that? So at least we're one step closer to having it painted. But this is where I'll be for the foreseeable future. This will be Old Blue's home. I'll be able to rough in our uh, frame in a bathroom over there, a nice little office. I'll maybe a shower eventually. Yeah, we're gonna be happy here. I like it. And because I'm moving in early, uh, I need to put in these baseboards. That was part of the deal. I could put in the baseboards myself. Uh, like I said, it's not quite finished, but I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to get in a little bit earlier because this is the time I have to move. I don't have all the time in the world right at the end of the month, right? So this uh, gives me the time I need to get in here. First, I have to clean this floor. It won't take long at all. Put the baseboards on there. Yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy with this. There's another plug up there. He was telling me uh, that that would be for a hot water. Like if I have, uh, if I frame out a bathroom in this corner here or something, or a little room, you put the hot water tank up there. It's all roughed in for that. If I want it out of the way. I can create another second level in here if I want. I mean, these are all like, these are all ideas and plans for the distant future. I'm not doing any of these in the near future. I'm pretty preoccupied and busy. We have a, a newborn, pardon me, an infant at home now. He's over eight weeks. He's now officially an infant. We have an infant at home. And my time at home, I'd like, I'd like to spend with him. And not just in here, you know, painting and doing little things. The shelter is doing good for now. Uh, it'll be good for now, I mean. I'll move all our stuff in here. We'll get it all organized slowly as we go, little bit by little bit. And uh, slowly settle ourselves in here for the long haul. All of this has got to move over. Good thing I have like a week to do it. I mean, I don't have the whole week. I've got lots of other things to do too, but uh, I got some time. My tarps here, Old Blue is getting polished. It's at the polisher shop. And while I got you here, I'm still learning little things about this new camera. And I realized that my audio in past videos sometimes has been all over the place. Whereas when I use my GoPro, the audio is really loud. And when I use this camera with the fuzzy mic on top, the audio is very low. It's very strange for me because when I'm editing it in my headphones, everything is level. And then I listen to it on my computer and everything is level. So I, I feel like it's all good, right? And then I upload it to YouTube and for some reason, it lowers the audio from this camera of all the clips from this camera. And then I know you guys have had to sort of like adjust the volume up and down through my vlogs. I just want to, I'm sorry. I'm working on it. This mic that I use on top of here, it's like a, it's a special Sony mic. Uh, it's got all kinds of different settings and I'm learning how to use it. I'm going to, I've been trying different settings on it. Hopefully that that helps. Sometimes I've noticed that when I'm behind the camera, I have the directional option pointed on or, or on. So it's, it's grabbing sound from here in front of the camera. But when I'm like back here, the audio is a little bit different, right? So I'm learning. So please be patient or I, I thank you for your patience. You guys have all been patient already. And most of you have been so nice to tell me, oh, I never noticed. I know you noticed, you're just being nice. I appreciate that, thank you. Thank you for your patience. I am still learning how to use my new equipment. I really like this camera though. It's just very different. I've been doing this for 12 years now and it's just, it's a very different piece of equipment to, to use. It's very fancy. And I'm not used to using something so fancy. There's so many buttons and options and this and that, but I'm learning now. It's getting better. Uh, every, every vlog getting a little bit better. So Britt came and picked me up from the polisher's shop. 
Old Blue is gonna be there uh, for a few days. I'm really looking forward to getting it back. It's the same guy who polished it when I bought it. I'm not sure if he wants to be named on YouTube or not, so until then we will call him Mr. Polisher. If he says that it's totally cool that I say his name on YouTube, that's that, then I'll let you know. But uh, I, I don't like putting anyone or anyone's name on YouTube if, uh, you know, maybe they're shy. There's some people that are shy and that's totally cool. Totally cool, not everybody who is like me and wants their face all over the internet every day. Uh, that's fine, that's totally fine. So Mr. Polisher has got the truck, he's gonna take good care of it. And in the meantime, we have got to move out of this shop and say goodbye and move on to bigger and better things. And yes, this absolutely means that I'm gonna have to put the tape down on the floor of the new shop again. And measure it all out, make sure it's straight, make sure it's even, blah, blah, blah. But look at all the stuff I have in here. I have quite a bit of stuff, but I can get this done in a day, right? The bike, I can literally ride over there. All this stuff, this mower is going to my dad in his shop. Uh, he's gonna take it, fix it, and do something with it and sell it. Whatever he wants to do with it. This ATV, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna sell it. I'm not 100% sure on that. Or is there any of you around here who would want this? It's a Predator 500, I believe it's a 2006? 2005, Predator, Polaris Predator 500. It has like a brand new motor. I just rebuilt this motor and it, pro it has less than 20 hours on the motor. Uh, I just need to put a new muffler on it, uh, put a new battery on it, and put new wheels and rims on the front. And I might be selling it. I wanna put that money away somewhere and get the family a side-by-side -side that we can all use together. We'll see, not 100% for sure, so I'm not promising I'm gonna sell it, but if you're interested, let me know, let me know. Let me know what you pick, give me an offer. The couches, we'll put on dad's trailer. Everything else here, we can put on dad's trailer. Dad's trailer. These two are gonna be the hardest things to move. That is heavy and that. Dad's trailer will fix that. I'm gonna have to take everything down off the walls. And all this, you know, I can just wheel this out on the wheeler onto dad's trailer or into the back of my pickup. Start moving that over a little bit at a time. It's not very far away, so it's not like I've gotta go across town or anything. And while we move into the new shop, we can reorganize everything and make it better and more organized. I kind of settled into the shop, you know, I've, I kind of like it here. This has been my little man cave for, for a year now. Someone's calling me. Interrupting my moment with my man cave. Who is it? It's my wife. Hello. Well, the first, the first layer, or the first floor cleaning, it'll need to be scrubbed and mopped. I just did a squeegee. Just got it wet and squeegeed it out, it wasn't enough. I'll have to uh, continue this tomorrow or on, my, on the next day. We'll be back. Diesel, you all ready? You all ready for your Big procedure, your big surgery, your big day. Big dentist appointment. Big dentist appointment. Chevy, can you sit? Can you sit? Oh, good boy. Man of the hour. Of the week, of the month, of the year. Just woke up, Daddy's coming too. Theo, look, it's Daddy. Hi. I'm so upset. Well, he knows he's about to get a booty change. <laughs> oh, nice. Atta boy, get it out now. Like Shrek says, better out than in. Yeah. He's getting so much bigger, so fast. 
Look how big his head is already. Wonder, wonder what he's dreaming about. Probably trucks. Hey, Chevy. How you doing? I know you don't get as much attention as you used to. We still love you so much. He's got some kind of thing going on back here. It's, uh, he must have uh, gotten a scab on there and the scab ripped off and now it's super itchy and he won't stop itching it. Oh, and it's like raw in here. You gotta stop chewing at it, okay? Just let it heal, man. Let it heal. <laughs> <laughs>